What's up everyone? This video is recorded on Sunday, September 19th, 2021. It's 4 p.m. and it's 77 Fahrenheit, 25 Celsius. I'll be walking the Brooklyn Bridge today. This is the first day that I'm walking it with this newly configured bike path. I did ride my bike over the Brooklyn Bridge when this opened, but I haven't walked across it yet. But you see here that a lot of the old infrastructure is still in place. They still have the uh, vendors here on the side selling accessories, water, artwork. And now there's signs and barricades telling people that they cannot bike here anymore. All the cyclists need to use the new bike path to the left. But I want to know how busy this bridge is going to be and how many people are going to be uh, blocking pathways, taking pictures and whatnot. Hopefully it will be alleviated a lot with this new bike path that the city installed. Got the legendary dollar water, dollar water guy. Ice cold water, $1. Ice cold water, $1. $1. $1. $1. $1. $1. $1. $1. $1. All right. This was always the worst part of the bike lane here with all the vendors and everyone being squeezed in. But now we don't have that issue anymore. There's still the old markings for the bike lane on the ground that hasn't been removed, but I think that the city will get around to it eventually or they'll just be faded out over time. If any of you are wondering how this bridge is before the new uh, the new bike lane, you could check by any of my older videos where I've made journeys across this bridge, whether as a pedestrian or as a cyclist or by scooter. I remember coming by here and saying, "Hey, people, bike lane, bike lane," ringing a horn or a bell. I have to say though, if you're coming to New York City and you're walking the Brooklyn Bridge, it's a lot better to walk from the Brooklyn side over to the Manhattan side. You get a much better view. Over here, you just have to kind of look back every once in a while so you get that view. But I think this is the more popular way to walk across just because it's more convenient. This is so much better than before. There's two times as much space. And on busy days, even with uh, this much space, it's all taken it up, up as well. Actually, this dividing line 
helps a lot because you have traffic on one side going one direction and on the other going towards Manhattan. Now it's even more pleasant to people watch here on the bridge. See what happened here. It is a little bit narrow for that two way bike lane, but having ridden it before, I don't think it's too bad. It works a lot better than the old one. Here's where we get a real test of the pathway here on the wooden deck. We lose a lot of space in this section. What really uh, was challenging before was taking selfies on this bridge and trying to get um, the shot right in the center and then having to worry about the bikes and other vehicles in the bike lane. I wonder if there's some kind of rally going on up there because I see a flag ahead of us. This was always the most crowded section of the bridge. Got some 
views of Nowhere in Manhattan to the right of us. Harry Christian. right underneath the base of the Manhattan Tower now. I hear some bell ringing, but that's for the bike lane below us. Still difficult to use that bike lane because uh, it's hard to pass sometimes. Too bad the view of here is ruined because of all this construction. To be honest, the uh, city should have reconfigured this bridge a long time ago. I don't know how many cycling crashes there were with pedestrians over the years. But I'm glad that uh, it's finally happened. Now people have time to take their pictures without having to worry about getting run over by bicycles.
Here was also another bottleneck with the former bike lane. Some great views of Dumbo. There's still vendors over here selling their goods. Get a Statue of Liberty here. That's pretty cool. Here we've got a mango seller. Almost at the end of this wooden deck and I have to say this is so much more of a better improvement than the old configuration hey what's up hi yeah 
good. Pretty good, yeah. This good. is my first time walking it since they put the bike lane down there. Uh, yes, we were just saying that. Yeah, it's so much better now. More space. Yeah. Everyone, stay on your right, just stay on your left. Yeah. Okay. Where are you visiting from? We're here from Manhattan. Yeah, oh, yeah? We're just walking back and forth. Oh, good. Exercise. All right. Going down. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Enjoy your day. Bye. There's still people on bikes here. Why? Maybe they didn't get the message that this is not for bikes. Awesome, we got wedding pictures. Let me go over to the side. Sure, the uh, wedding photographers are happy that the bike lane is no longer here. They're one of the worst offenders of uh, it being in the bike lane when it was active. My question is, why isn't there a dollar water vendor on this side of the bridge? I'm sure they'll do just as well as the guy on the other side of the bridge, on the Manhattan bound side. Actually, there is.
this always used to be a problem too. It got very narrow for the cyclists in this part. Actually, one of the main issues now with cycling that I have to bring up, before he used to be able to carry your bike up these stairs and then ride your bike over the bridge. Now that option is no longer available since the bike lane is over there. You have to go all the way to Tillery Street and Brooklyn Bridge Boulevard in order to get to the bike lane. Meanwhile, this is a few blocks shorter of a shortcut. But uh, anyway, that was my walk over the Brooklyn Bridge with the newly reconfigured uh, pedestrian and cycling paths. If you enjoyed it, then please smash the like button for me. Subscribe for some more videos like these. And I'll see you next time. Bye, everyone. Take care.